I like to begin all of my sermons with a small prayer. So before we get into this one, let us pray. Father, I come before you today with a humble heart, seeking your guidance and presence as I deliver your word to my viewers. I ask that you use me as your vessel and steady my tongue. Allow me to speak only what is necessary to deliver your word. God, I ask that you continue to bless those that follow you and to bless those that are open to listening to your word. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Many of you watching this video are currently experiencing tremendous pressure and going through a time of great stress. The winds and waves of life have shaken you to your core, and the reality of the life you are living may not align with your original expectations. It's a situation where you never imagined you would find yourself. Despite your efforts, it feels like things only worsen, leading you to cry out to God for answers. Have you ever found yourself trapped between a rock and a hard place? Carrying a burden all on your own, with no one aware of the struggles you face? You put on a facade of normalcy in front of your family, colleagues, or classmates, while secretly being overwhelmed by the stress and pressure of your circumstances. It feels as though you are being crushed, making it harder to breathe, slowly eating away at your spirit. In these moments, your faith becomes the most powerful asset. Let's look at a woman from the Bible mentioned in Mark chapter 5 who was caught in a similar predicament. She had been suffering from an issue of blood for 12 years and had exhausted all her resources seeking medical help to no avail. Despite her worsening condition, she heard about Jesus passing through her town and the miracles he had performed. Something stirred within her and she became determined to touch the hem of his garment, believing it would bring her healing. However, a significant obstacle stood in her way, a massive crowd surrounding Jesus. It seemed nearly impossible to reach him. Nevertheless, this woman refused to be discouraged. With unwavering resolve, she fought her way through the multitude of people. Finally, when she managed to touch the edge of Jesus' robe, he instantly sensed her touch. Astonished, he inquired about the person who had touched him, as if aware that power had flowed out from him. What set this woman apart from the countless others who touched Jesus? The answer lies in her faith. Jesus acknowledged her faith as the catalyst for her healing. He spoke to her saying, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be free from your affliction. Faith was the key that made her whole. Similarly, in the life of every believer, faith stands as a foundation, independent and resilient. It doesn't require extraordinary faith to believe in a God who never fails. Let me personally assure you that God is faithful, and failure is not inherent to his nature. He will not fail you. This Bible reminds us that God is Jehovah Jireh, the provider. He will elevate you, make you the head and not the tail. He will bless you abundantly, giving you things you never planted and supplying your needs beyond measure. He will nourish and sustain you, ensuring your prosperity in whatever you do. Put your trust in the God of this Bible for he holds the seven seas within his grasp, calls the stars by name, and measures the heavens with the span of his hand. He is the foundation of your salvation, the precious cornerstone of your life. He becomes your refuge in times of storms, your high tower, fortress, and deliverer during battles. He shines as the light amid the darkness. Just as the woman with the issue of blood had to persevere and push through the crowd to reach Jesus, you too must overcome obstacles. The crowd represents fear, doubt, and past failures. These are the hindrances that challenge your faith. However, like the determined woman, maintain your focus on Jesus. Do not let the crowd deter you. Regardless of its size or noise, regardless of how many times you stumble or are pushed down, do not allow your suffering to hinder your pursuit. Ignore the notion that you are unclean or unworthy and keep your gaze fixed on Jesus. Embrace the bulldog tenacity of the woman and proclaim, nothing will stop me from believing in God. Even if others doubt or lie, God remains true. Mistakes, unbelief, the past, pain, failure, doubt, fear, uncertainty, people, and even myself will not impede my faith in God. Let your faith be unwavering, for we live not by sight, but by faith. Understand the significance of believing in God and how highly he esteems faith. Pleasing God is impossible without faith. So have faith in God, and when your journey ends, may you confidently declare, 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 7, 
I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith.